concentrates on that till it's mastered quite completely. Tiger, panther, dragon, eagle, snake, till I beat them. What's up everybody? Welcome back to the page. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for those of you who've already subscribed. For those of you who is your first time here, let's go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, share it with your friends. Let everybody know, right? So it's Vlogtober. And like I said, I'm gonna drop a video a day. I'm gonna be doing a bag of different styles of videos. And for today's video, we're gonna talk about microphones. Now, I'm the podcast guy. I produce, you know, a couple of Jamaica's better podcasts. <laughs> All right, let me. Nigga, we produce the best podcast over here. Yes, sir. This nigga spitting. Damn, nigga. Anyway, so that's Net Shots, Boy Things, Boy Things After Dark, Pack Up with Rush Cam, you name it, we do it, right? So I wanted to talk to you guys a bit about microphones, all right? Now, there are two different types of microphones. And before you ask, trust me, you're not just going to buy a mic and plug it into your laptop unless it's a USB mic. Mics that use XLR inputs, you're generally going to have to have an audio interface and something to run it to your computer with. Or there are tools that do all of that in one. We're not talking about that today, but trust me, we're going to come back to that. Because as the month goes on, I'm going to just drop different, different, different audio tips and, you know, hopefully help you guys. But for today, we're going to talk about the two main types of microphones you got out there. You got a dynamic microphone, that broadcast quality microphone, and you have a condenser microphone. It's more sensitive and it picks up a lot more audio. As Bob would say, for those of you who watch a podcast, this one picks up people. This one, you can hear the ants walk. So I'm going to show you and let you hear what each one sounds like. And then I will tell you which microphones I like to use, why I like to use them, when I like to use them. Because one isn't better than the other. It's a situational thing. Cool? Welcome back. Are you guys hearing me? Do I sound like a broadcasting professional? All right, here's the thing, all right? All microphones are not created equally and they definitely pick up your voice differently. So this is how it sounds with a microphone that picks up stuff to the front, mainly a bit of what's to the back and it rejects left to the right. That's called a cardioid pattern. If it sounds a bit noisy right now, it's because I have a fan on not too far away. And this is specifically so you guys can hear that microphones pick up everything so like you gotta be really sensitive with what you do cool some of them might even have handling noise pre this that's handling noise you gotta be very aware of if your microphone has that because it affects how you use them we're gonna switch over to the condenser and then I'll tell you what my preferred microphone is which is this bad boy right here and how to use and when to use Cool. Now this is a condenser microphone. Uh, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it definitely picks up way more detail in my voice, but it also picks up way more detail everywhere because whereas that microphone and I'll have patterns and all this stuff for you guys linked below, whereas that microphone rejects what's behind it, picks up what's in front and side to side, this microphone picks up everything around here so it's very good for things like um stage shows and when you're doing docky stuff out in the wild and they're very very detailed and good microphones but with this detail comes the fact that they're a little more fragile so you got to be careful with your mics all right switching over to my main audio all right so both microphones work well, right? Uh, you can use them for a myriad of situations. You can use them for what you like a bag of different things. Here's where it gets detailed for podcasters. Specifically, I'm talking to podcasters. Your dynamic microphone will get you way closer to broadcast quality audio, provided you put them in like a mic stand, something like this. It's simply to reject rumble. You don't want to have your, remember what it sounded like? 
you don't want to have any of that. And not all microphones come with handle noise, but it's always a safe bet to practice cutting out the possibility of rumble noise. Condenser microphones, you can use them in your hand. You won't pick up rumble noise, but you have to be very, very attentive with your audio because you're going to get unwanted things if you're not. Now, my main mic right here is a condenser microphone, but it looks like a broadcast, a broadcast dynamic microphone, right? It is the Shure 876As, right? This beauty right here. I got two of them. Uh, it, it has low handle noise, really good wind rejection. I think it picks up a very natural sounding voice. And as I said, I have a dead cat on it to reject noise and wind and excess kind of stuff. So there's a saying where like people will forgive bad video if you have good audio. That's not always true, but I fell in love with audio first and your microphones are very important. So hopefully this would have helped you. And you know, I got some practice. So remember to comment, like, subscribe, vlog toba baby, one a day. <laughs> I think I'm gonna bathe my dogs tomorrow. And I have a sad story to tell you, but that's for another day. So we're out.